Uh, I am Brigadier General Lapte Flora, Deputy Commanding General, United States Army, Africa. Well, the important of the, the uh, state po uh, partnership program is to build relationships, but, and also to build readiness, and to, to help our uh, um, partners to build capability and uh, capacities. At the same time, also help our uh, guardsmen to, to uh, really also build our um, readiness as, uh, as well our global citizenship, if you will, because we have the opportunity to travel around the world to work in a very difficult and challenging uh, environment. Well, because of the persistent and constant engagement uh, of our service members uh, here, uh, with our partners and because of the endurance and the, and the uh, stable, uh, constant, I would say, uh, uh, working uh, together and, and that naturally uh, build uh, good solid, solid uh, relationship and trust. Um, the State Partnership Program is a joint uh, Department of Defense uh, Security Cooperation Program. It's, uh, it's managed uh, by uh, our National Guard and it is executed by each uh, geographic uh, combatant command. And of course, sourced by the National Guard uh, respective uh, state partners. Uh, so, uh, so that's how uh, the process work. I mean, the, 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 uh, the, um, the, the, I guess the definition of it and how the, uh, the concept work is to kind of link or pair, if you will, uh, to each US state to our partner uh, country so they can work uh, side by side and have really a direct line of uh, communication. So, uh, so whatever our partner uh, nation need and the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, our U.S. state uh, national law will do the very best to accommodate that. And the relationship, the reason the relationship is enduring because just the nature of the National Guard, all the, uh, the soldiers and, and, and the officers, they all stay within each state. So they actually uh, grow up uh, together. A captain uh, came over here, let's say, uh, 10 years ago, worked with the counterpart. 10 years later, the very same captain that they met now is a general officer or, 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 or a, a, a senior member in the military. So that enduring uh, relationship is extremely uh, beneficial. Well, to the U.S. state, uh, so definitely we are building not only our partner's capability, we also build our capability as well. Every time when you travel, uh, you have to go through a, uh, a very, uh, I would say, complex process to, to get approved and then to get our uh, individual readiness to be able to travel to the continent. So that itself is readiness. And, uh, and in order uh, for all the trainers, if you will, to be here, they have to get ready uh, to, 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 to know what they are supposed to, uh, to do. So that also create readiness um, because of training. And then when they come here, when they learn, they also learn from, uh, from their partner here as, as well too. So, uh, and I think that the, the, the culture aspect of it uh, is definitely make them a much better global citizen, I think. I think the, uh, the, uh, another thing that I think is, is, is good uh, uh, to know, all the uh, SPP activities are directly uh, support our COCOM as well as the embassy uh, security cooperation objective. Right, so, so, uh, so not on, on only benefit the state, but of course also uh, benefit the very uh, COCOM that can sponsor that program. So, so I think that is, uh, is a good thing. Well, for a uh, National Guardsman, we are typically trained domestically within our, the confine within our state, or perhaps every now and then we may get the opportunity to travel outside of our state to, uh, to conduct training. But what a wonderful opportunity it is to, to, to get to travel internationally, to work in an environment that is um, austere, uh, uh, kind of different than, than, than what they used to at home, and learn, and, and learn not only how to operate in a, in a difficult environment, but also how to navigate uh, the language barrier. Okay, so, so because of these uh, challenges uh, and, and, and develop the procedure to overcome that, and that itself is re uh, readiness, right? But really, uh, at the end of the day, uh, they got to learn to build the relationship uh, with their partner. And to me, I think that definitely make uh, 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 that soldier a, a, a better soldier or airman. Uh, because the SVP program is joint, it's both Army and Air. So uh, I think that will definitely make our uh, soldier a better global citizen because uh, they embrace the different culture.
uh, they, 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 um, they respect the, um, the capabilities and, and, and we can all learn uh, from, uh, from, uh, from each other. It's, it's, it's a mutual uh, relationship.